Water scarcity in the region and across the globe continues to be a growing concern. According to industry experts, the rapid development and population growth are among the main contributors. Though 75% of the world's surface is made up of water, 98% of it contains salt, making it undrinkable. They say, though the facts may look grim, there are efficient solutions that could be employed to improve the situation. Khadija Saleh reports. By 2045, the world population is estimated to rise up to 9 billion. While the demand for electricity is expected to double by 2030, the World Health Organization places the number of people living without clean piped water at 1.2 billion. These are just some of the hard facts. While these figures may not paint a bright future, companies such as Dow Water and Process Solutions say there is hope. A successful model is the Park Hyatt in Dubai, wherein the hotel successfully saved enough potable water to fill as many as 62 Olympic-sized swimming pools. We are a leading manufacturer of membrane technologies. You see some of them here. So this is our ultrafiltration technologies. You can use it as pre-treatment for reverse osmosis, for desalination treatments, but you can also use it for wastewater treatments. And here in the Park Hayes, ultrafiltration along with reverse osmosis technologies are being used to treat wastewater, uh, taking it back, purified, and using it in cooling towers to, to cool uh, the guests of this 225 luxury, you know, hotel. In the MENA region, the number of countries suffering from water scarcity increased from three in the 1950s to 11 at present. Among them is the UAE, Saudi Arabia, Jordan, Algeria, and many more. Fortunately, water conservation is high on everyone's agenda. We will be building a world-scale reverse osmosis purification unit. It will be the first ever reverse osmosis plant we are building outside the United States. We will build this in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, in Jubail area. Why? Because in this market is actually the biggest desalination market in the world. And water is key. It's key for uh, people, it's key for the, in the national agendas. So yeah, we, we will be actually, we are expanding, we are present in the kingdom. Qatar is, is interested now by reverse osmosis technologies. From reducing cost of water purification to recycling water, company officials say they are continuing their research to find more efficient solutions that would further support the demand for water conservation. We are working on actually decreasing further the cost of water purification by another 35% by 2015. Wastewater is actually a viable resource for, for water. And think about it, if you reuse the waste, it's not anymore the waste. Here the beauty of this example is that the return on investment is less than a year. So what we are saying to the public, to the authorities, to the policymakers, it's good for the environment, but it's actually good for the pocket. So all the investors, if they invest money, they get their return on investments after eight months, all right? So that's a great investment nowadays. The significant amount of potable water saved by Park Height Dubai is just an example of what can be achieved through innovation. This is according to Dow Water and Process Solutions. Tomorrow, everyone will celebrate World Water Day, an event which has become more critical now than ever in encouraging governments as well as companies to pursue better measures that promote water conservation. Kadija Sali, 7 National News.